I started blogging in 2003 before YouTube even existed. It is with heart wide open that I share with you my journey that has taken me from South Korea to now living off grid in the middle of nowhere. This will be like that. And that's two feet, so I will have grab on two. Then I will put... That stuff is expensive, so... For the test, I'm only gonna put it under the... Under where the screws will be. So. I can't remember what it's called, the tape. Butyl tape, yeah. So I'm gonna put one there. Two. Okay, and then here I'll show you how I'm gonna get the stairs going. And now I have something that I can grab on. That will definitely work for this, but now let's see if it's waterproof. Yeah, that's not leaking. It's gonna be perfect. Yeah, it's sealed pretty good, so that's excellent. So, I, and for the wall, I have to go on the other side to. Uh, and I'll decide at what level I want it. My anchor points. And I'll do it a little bit higher, you know? It's gonna be perfect. It's waterproof, no problem. Okay, so I'm gonna set up to uh, work on that today. My point of access will be through the stairs here. It's easier than uh, trying to go up the ladder or the scaffold. So, I just need to break the seal. No, oh, it's warm in here, it's good. All right, let me go check the spot where I know here it's this that screw that I need to uh, take care of so and this is the one right between the two here it's on the same it's on the same one so this one I should be able, so if I find this one right across at the edge, both at the edge, <laughs> oh fuck, those are the two leaks, and there's a little bit of water in here, in that bucket, okay, so I guess I have to count, so from here, Okay, I did some thinking <laughs> and uh, I've got an idea so uh, I'll get to it. Four years of not cleaning the gutter down there. This is like I guess most of it 
it's heavy so it should go better now when it rains it shouldn't leak inside I'm hoping so this is where I'm at now I'm gonna go get uh, two by six by twelve and I'm gonna put them sideways on the outside and uh, I might only have to need only one anchor point at the top we'll see but that's my next step All right, I'm done my platform to clean the chimney. So I'll have that. The chimney will be about this high. So I can clean it, it'll be fine. I might make myself like some rails to feel secure. And then this will not accumulate a lot of snow because it will melt and burning I doubt it's gonna burn and then uh, so one screw that was leaking on this side it was easy it was sticking out it was not drilled in completely for some reason so I redid that I see something that need attention over there and the other one is where where the hose is it's either that one or the one next to it and i have a feeling it's the one the second one i think so i'm gonna wait until divine is here and i'll uh, go do those two spots and i think that would be good but yeah this is good I didn't have to do any holes in the roof. It's kind of just laying there. So that's perfect. And uh, But the holes I have to do for the stairs on the wall. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm gonna have to add something to hold my chimney so that it doesn't move. Cause it's moving quite a bit now and putting another Another extension will be too much. All right, I've got this <laughs> for the, the chimney. So I'm gonna go check. Um, <sighs> I'm thinking about so many things, but so I'm gonna go check. Uh, and make a plan after with my checking just to know I might have to cut some wood okay yeah okay let me do the thinking and I'll show you when it's done it's done the chimney is not moving and it's actually ready to add the next part so I'll have to bring it to the platform 
Anyway, now I'm gonna get on with the weed whacker. It's physical. I'm gonna weed whack. Not my favorite thing to do. The blade, they got too dull. So I'm gonna do the, the orchard with the vine when I have the new blades because it cuts the grass way better. Oh my love, we have at least three patches of uh, Saskatoon berries that way. I cut some, but you know, I, I noticed before it was all cut. So we, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put uh, something so we know exactly where. There's three. Not completely. It was hard to see and I didn't expect it. And then when I noticed, then I was like, oh, so I have to remember, but there's three. So there's a patch here. Uh, there was one there before, but I no, don't know where it was. Not. There was one there. I know that. It was here, somewhere here. Okay, but I, I'm going to look after here. So this here? one here. No, no. Is it? Oh, yeah. That's one, but that one I didn't cut. It's, it's going to keep growing, but there's more here. Yeah, and here, look, here is like everywhere. The, here, I noticed because there was fruit. It's my uh, first trip to the small town with the trailer. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous, you know. Considering the history we just uh, wrote together, that trailer and I. Whew. But uh, you, you know, I have to go. I have to go, and I there's no way around it, or you know it's it's inevitable that's the w perfect word for situations like this it's inevitable that i have to take it to town and uh, what's inevitable is to have problems and i hope i did well i don't hope i did everything i could according to my growing knowledge <laughs> uh, for this to be okay now so let's see how the journey uh, shapes up this morning we could hear cows very near our place like it but they were on our land that on our property for sure uh, and <laughs> at first Willow was freaking out and he was barking a lot but then uh, after a long time he just gave up because the cows were not budging they were not scared uh, I didn't see them and I didn't go to look to see how close they were but we could hear them from very close It's so far so good, but we haven't gone very far yet. <laughs> I'm gonna, once I get to uh, the plowed road, the public plowed road, then I'll, uh, I'll check, you know, all my nuts and bolts and see if anything, uh, I brought some wrenches in case I need to tighten stuff up, you know? and uh, hopefully that's enough I'm prepared but there's no matter how you're prepared it's uh, there's always the element of surprise yeah
That looks fine. That looks good too. That looks good. My door. Next time I check is when uh, I get to the mailbox just before the pavement starts. All right. Here we go, that should be fine. If I made it through this, the rest should be no problem. Everything was good, so uh, I'm, on, I'm going on the highway now. Should be good, I didn't see anything that was getting loose or anything like that, so. But I'll check again, and before it's time to load it. Uh, that's the last thing I'm going to do before I head uh, back home. I'm going to do all the errands first before loading the trailer. And uh, this morning I, I erased the codes on the truck about uh, the camshaft sensor like problem. And uh, it hasn't come back up since I left. So. I think that what happened is when I added like coolant fluid uh, some of it may have dropped on the sensor and triggered the code. I'm not home yet but when I left before I got to the road that is plowed in winter <laughs> I heard something. I thought it was the trailer but when I stopped few kilometers later to check the trailer was fine but now I'm coming back and look what I found on the road and look so I drove to the town without my hub for the four-wheel drive <laughs> fuck! Like, how the fuck? Like, uh, <laughs> it happens to. Just this kind of stuff happens to. Like, what the fuck? All right. So, we're gonna do this right now. Oh. So, I have to remove that. Okay, I'm gonna do some thinking, but we're starting here. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's fat. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to tighten the belt uh, for some time because uh, it's out of hand uh, right now. Uh, uh, it's like not just because I want to be sexy in front of the camera because I don't need to be skinnier for that <laughs> but uh, it's my health and um, my heart is not bothering me and I don't have any of the symptoms that usually uh, make me stop so uh, this time around, I'm gonna do something before I get the symptoms. Uh, just cause. So anyway, I was getting ahead of myself this morning. And uh, I had uh, forgotten about the J-trim and the Tyvek. So I'm just about to finish the J-trim. And then we'll be ready to put uh, the first... Uh, panels up it's really hot but safety first so I know when I cut metal it the shards are hot and it doesn't feel good on the skin 
even moments later. So I like to be uh, covered like this. And uh, the, the chainsaw screen is, the mesh is too big, it lets stuff go in. So the screen plus the sunglasses is what I need. But then I see nothing. So anyway, I'm going to be careful. Okay. Now, do I go there? Okay, we're going to five more panels. The first panel is in. I'm gonna cut the second one now. I'm ready, and then uh, we'll install it. <laughs> I'm going to install the corner. My love. What do you think how it's turning out? Yeah, it's better, but there's no point in doing it. It's going to be there for probably two years. So I don't mind uh, taking it apart in two years and then putting it back on. It's been like a blue sky all day and look at that. It's like almost 41 now and it's... Uh, it's 10 to 7. So, whew. anyway, we it's got done. I'm so happy. I, I didn't think it was going to take that much time. I thought I'd have energy and time left to work on the root cellar. But no. <laughs> so now I'm going to see what I can do with the truck. With this here. Oh, not this guy. Is this the hub here? If you see, the whole assembly came out. I, I really don't know why I'm having so much issues with the stuff concerning the 4x4. But I drove more than 200 kilometers like this, and I reckon uh, as long as there's no rocks getting in there or something, it will be fine. And uh, although tomorrow we're going through back roads, uh, like we did earlier a few a months or two ago, uh, we should be fine. It won't be. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to put tape on top and... Uh, put uh, the wheel cover of the back wheel at the front if it can fit then uh, that'll, that'll settle the problem all right 